Aeroplanes and Astronauts. That's a recorded version from Canyon. Welcome to WECS Willimantic. This is uh, another version of WECS Sessions, not to be confused with my regular show, Something Different with Marky Ramon. 7.38, it's uh, 80 degrees and sunny right now, according to the computer. Tonight it will be increasing cloudiness. We'll have a low of 58 degrees. And tomorrow, a couple of thunderstorms, high of 70 degrees. All right, welcome back to uh, the studio here. Canyon, how are you? Hey, I'm hey. good. We're doing good. Some beautiful, beautiful songs that you've written. And, and I noticed last night when I was doing some research that um, your voice... Uh, changes up on some of the songs it, it's really angelic in, in some songs and then really soul and sultry in, in other songs is, is that intentional or it just kind of comes out I think uh, it's weird because I've kind of been noticing uh, over the years that I've been doing this uh, how uh, my voice has been kind of changing and the only thing I could really say is that I think it really depends on um, what the song's about, like what I'm feeling in, in the song, like w what I'm thinking of when I wrote the song, and I feel like that comes through. Um, it's it's pretty uh, obvious in a song that I have called Crutch that's uh, uh, written about addiction, and uh, it's a it's a extra, extra, I don't know, would you call it soulful? Like It's like borderline R&B. Yeah, it's very really different, but it, it's like it's, I, I take myself to these places and I guess my voice just follows along, but it's not intentional. It just comes out like that. It, it's all based on the songs, I guess. Just That's awesome. It's, uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. So. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you were talking about uh, the other song you did, um, Mouth Breather, Breather. Yeah. You want to tell us a little bit about, uh, did you already tell us about... Uh, what it's about? Well, I mean, I was inspired to write it when I was looking back on Facebook, uh, uh, kind of at a, a couple people that I had gone to school with. Uh, I, I didn't have a hard time in grade school, even though people would probably think I got teased all the time with my name being Canyon. I actually, I didn't have a hard time, um, but it was kind of looking back, feeling uh, regretful that I didn't do more to the people that we're having a hard time and it was one of those things where although I never went out of my way to be a good friend I, I could have you know I could have done more yep. and uh, just kind of feeling bad because uh, you know Facebook is this crazy medium where you can catch up with people without really even talking to them you know you don't really have to connect with them at all but I could kind of tell that maybe these people's struggles hadn't ended in high school like so many people's do uh and uh it just it it yeah made me feel like a <laughs> crappy person <laughs> it seems so. like uh younger kids are really starting to get more um socially aware and, and proactive and now I, I was at uh, my son's uh, middle school the other day and they were having an event um a day of silence it was, it was a few weeks ago and it was a national day of silence to uh support anti-bullying of uh, people, gay, lesbian, transgender, and... Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, and it was great how the, all the kids were supporting each other, and there was a, a ton of kids that were wearing, like, a, they had a little sign around um, around their neck, and it said, I'm v taking a vow of silence today, or whatever. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, and it was cool. I think things like that are great. I feel like, you know, especially going through, like, uh, you have those transitional years, I think, feel like kind of starting in fifth grade through eighth grade uh, that are just brutal for so many people. And, uh, you know, that's it's sad because I, I was reading all the, you know, newspaper articles about, you know, all of the teen suicides that there had been. And yeah. not too long ago up in Springfield, uh, a young girl was uh, committed suicide. Really? Uh, yeah. And they had they linked it to bullying. Was that yes, it? yeah, it was linked to bullying. Yeah, that's. I forget so the details. Shame. It's always sad when when tragedies have to happen for people to wake up, but you know. Right, but mm -hmm. we're progressing. We're ma we're making. Yeah, hopefully so. It seems mm -hmm. like it. I got the cedar paddle freshman year. The cedar paddle. Uh oh. Yeah, I got paddle freshman initiation. Yeah. 
I, jo- join a fraternity or no, no, no. Like just you know, the seniors always go after the freshmen. I didn't and, know that. They didn't do that at my school. Yeah, freshmen. Come on now. Did it at least smell good though? <laughs> if it was I didn't get a chance to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. But uh, I bet it did. That's awesome. It was definitely the real deal. Wow. Or, you know. Yay for high school. <laughs> it's really heavy wood. <laughs> oh. Do you want to do another song? Sure. Uh, yeah. Now we were talking about covers earlier off the air. And yeah. you asked me, it was funny that you asked me, I usually ask bands or, or you know, if uh, one of the questions I usually ask is, do you do covers? And I don't want to offend somebody if they're really into their, you know, their own writing skills and all that. And I don't want to offend anybody, but sometimes I ask, you know, do you do covers? Because it's always nice to hear a different version of a popular song. Mm. Yeah. And you told me that you do. Uh, we do, yeah. A cover. Well, we did, we did this one, the one I was telling, we do a version of uh, Come, if you, Come As You Are by Nirvana. And we did that for some some something we were involved with it right? was when we it was the competition that we had the battle of the bands that oh, we right. entered for to go to bamboozle oh, nice. um because it was funny i've always been one of those people because i have so many songs that i could never really wrap my mind around learning somebody else's songs because i felt like i had so many of my own um and it was actually you know, halfway through the competition because it was over like several weeks that, you know, we kept playing shows and competing. And uh, it was towards the end of the competition that they said, so, you know, this last final round of everything, uh, every band that's left has to learn a cover song. And so we chose this one after we deliberated and we're like, what song do we pick? Like, I don't know. And uh, I I turned out really liking the song because it was just it's fun for me to sing somebody else's song that i really connect with so i I liked it we went through a bunch of songs thinking that we should do something like totally obscure because obviously we're like we were loving like the original stuff so much so we were like all right cover you know like what you were saying it's kind of like okay sometimes that's that's the best one and you take like a hard hard song and you tone it down and make it really mellow and it Look at it from a different perspective, and just yeah, yeah. Different it's different fun. Feel. Yeah, we and I was uh, telling you a little earlier. I just did a a, a friend requested that I do uh, learn an Elvis Costello song um, because I'm not familiar with his work, which I know that's kind of blasphemy, I suppose. <laughs> like <laughs> people are like, "What?" Uh, but I I couldn't imagine me singing this one song. It's watching the detectives when I first heard it, and after I started learning it and playing it I was like I actually really like playing this song it sounds nothing like the original but I connected with it and I loved it and I was you know it's a cool song yeah I like that so excellent should we do uh you want to do come as you are then sure excellent all righty Oh 
memories.